Hi guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to create a KDP book cover in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, these are examples of book covers that I created in PowerPoint. And just a disclaimer, before you start creating a book cover, make sure you have already written your book and you have the dimensions of your book. So once you have done that, come to this website called KDP Book Calculator, click the first link, and it's going to lead you to this website. So we're going to start with the binding type. So click the drop down arrow and choose paperback. You can choose um, hardcover if you want. And interior type, I'm going to be choosing black and white. And then the paper type, I'm going to choose white paper. And for reading directions, we're going to leave it at left to right. And the measurement units, we're going to be clicking on the drop down arrow and choose inches. And interior, this is where you select the exact dimensions of your book. So I created an 8.5 by 11 inch book. Mm -hmm. The number of pages in the book is 303. Once you write that, you're going to see calculate dimensions. Click on that. And it's going to actually um, produce the dimensions for your or book cover based on the number of pages in your book. And of course, the trim size of your book. So click on download template and it's going to download the template. So locate the file, go to the download icon of your laptop at the top, click on that, and you're going to be able to see the file here in your laptop and just click on it to extract the file. You're going to see a PDF and an image file. Click on the image file and you'll be able to see the image, right? So this is the image that we need and we're going to be using it. So this is the exact dimensions that is the size of the book cover that we need to place in PowerPoint so that we can create our book cover. Right. So what we're going to do is to get these dimensions. We have 17.932 by 11.250. Next, open up PowerPoint and click a blank presentation. Right click on this and come down, go to layout. We're going to give blank. Click on blank and we can start. Now to set our size, go to the top. You're going to see designs. Click on design and at the far right corner, you're going to see size here. Click on that and then click custom um, size. And then come here, we're going to give the width, which is 17.932. And the height, which is 11.250 inch. Then click OK. OK, then click Ensure Fits. All right, so... The next thing we're going to do now is to import or insert our image. Go to insert, click on picture, and then click from device. And we're going to locate the downloaded image file. Go to this. Okay, this is it. And then click and click insert. Right, so you can see that it automatically fits our size of our slide. But before continue, just a disclaimer, your image or your text should not cover the yellow, the yellow um, box that you see, because that's where they're going to place your ISBN code. Right. So first step, we're going to go to the insert and then go to shapes, click the square shapes. And then we're going to draw it here. Okay. Carefully draw it until it covers the red or is it a pink pinkish line all right so um next tap on the square and we're going to go to ship format tap on it go to ship format and then go to ship um outline click on that and give it a new outline the next you're going to right click and go to format shape and then click on fill and then we're going to give it a gradient fill. Click on gradient fill. We're going to come down here, tap on these little lines, and then click on. We're going to give it a color. Come to the color option here and choose a color. I'm going to come back again. Um, you can still come back here, go to more color. You have op more options. I'm just going to make this one a little bit darker by dragging that and then click OK. And then I'm going to give this other one here, the last one, a, the same color. And then we can work with the middle ones. Okay, just drag as you drag it. You can as you drag, you can see that it increases as well. You can give this a different color. 
so i like gradient fill because you can just add more any colors you want if you know how to blend work with multiple colors to blend colors then you can do that you can just play around with it let me add this one and then you can also work with different directions you can change the directions of your gradient fill of your colors in your gradient fill so go to directions at the top and then click the arrow and you can just change the direction and choose the one that best fits you okay so i love gradient fill because you can work with multiple colors if you like you can add multiple colors you have the options depending on how you are able to blend your colors and make it look nicer all right so i'm going to leave this like this and then we're going to work with this okay this looks better so the next thing we're going to do is to close this and then come here highlight it and then we're going to duplicate it by clicking um, ctrl d on your keyboard and then just drag and place it here and now once that is ready next is the spine duplicate the square again and then just arrange it like that drag and then bring it here to produce our spine then we're going to right click on that just right click on it and we're going to format it to give it a different gradient feel so right click and then go to format at the bottom and then you're going to go to gradient fill and just delete some ones that you, know, you don't need just tap on it and click the red icon right there and then you can work with the different colors i'm going to add different colors and then um yeah just work with it i'm just going to play around with it, the one that best fits and then i'm also going to play around with the directions as well so you just play around and the ones that the one that fits you work with it right so there's no depending on the design that you want to look do the one that's good you use it so i'm going to be using this purple i think purple is better and i'm just going to play around with it a bit like that all right so the directions also also matters so I just make this the I choose the vertical direction and I'm playing around with it right now. And I'm deleting the colors that if it doesn't look right, you it's okay to delete and then you add a, a different color. So it's your design, it's your book, so you can be creative and make whatever design you want to make. Alright, so I think we are getting there, it's getting much better. All right, so this is perfect i'm going to leave it like this so the next thing we're going to do is to add title so i'm going to go to insert and go to text box here click on that and then draw it here and you can type in the title of your book then just copy select the title i'm going to give it a white color click there and then change it to this color all right the brighter color and then change the font size okay and the fonts i think we're going to use times new romance and next i'm going to be adding a line to our design so go to the top you're going to see line here click on that and we're going to just hold down the shift key and then drag to adjust our line like so so just adjust it and once it is still selected you're going to go to the top you're going to see shape format and then go to shape outline click on the shape outline we're going to change the color give it a brighter color see on shape outline go down and click on width we're going to make it more bigger still on shape outline go to um, dashes give it a this dash okay so just hold select it and then duplicate it using ctrl d and then drag and place it here next is to adjust the position of our line highlight it and go to the top you're going to uh, shape format you're going to see bring forward and backward there i'm going to send it backward right no it's too backward so i'm going to bring it a bit forward and yeah that looks great do the same for this All right so the next thing we want to do is to add a name box go and click on the square shape change the shape format go to no outline the shape field let's give it a brighter white color like this and then add the add text box let's go to the top and go to insert or just come here and click text box yeah then draw write in a name field right 
change the the font to Times New Romans and then bold it, then duplicate it. Let's go and add. Yes, just can cancel this and add school. And then we're going to add a um school here. Okay, so now depending on the type of book cover that you want to create, I'm creating a um teacher's planner, lesson planner book. That is why I am doing this. So, so that's why you have a name, a school, a section where you write all these informations. All right, so I'm going to duplicate the line, then just hold the shift key and drag and then place it here. Go to shape format when the line is selected. Let's give it a different color. I'm going to change it to this color. Okay, it's better. And then just drag. Make sure when you're dragging, you hold the shift key so that it doesn't bend. Right, so drag and then duplicate it. Then bring it down here. And then adjust, hold down the shift key and adjust, duplicate it, and then hold down shift key and adjust. All right. So there you go. Our book is ready. Now, before we export the book, we're going to delete the image behind. So tap on this element and shift and then highlight the image and then click the backspace button on your keyboard and it's going to be deleted adjust it and then next is to export your file now we're going to export it in pdf format so click on file at the top here go to save as and then click browse and then you're going to give a name to your book we're going to title it um lesson plan book cover and then we're going to go ahead to change the format we're going to change it to pdf click the drop down arrow and choose pdf just click save. All right, guys. So we have finally come to the end of this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit the thumbs up button and also share the video to those you know it might help them. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button to join the family so that you get notified every time we upload a video tutorial. Right? So see you in the next video and stay blessed.